Talk Radio 702. All right, I mentioned Paul Simon. He's currently visiting South Africa, commemorating the 25th anniversary of the release of Graceland. The Graceland album started out a cross-cultural experiment. It has become a worldwide hit. Simon's work, Graceland, recently won a Grammy for Album of the Year. Graceland was a Paul Simon record that rocked a little harder. It had a little bit more low end going on there. It's got a serious staying power. It's one of my favorites, man. I love it. Love it. The album had controversy around it. It was very vexed going to South Africa at that time. When Paul Simon was in South Africa in 1985, it was at a moment of high struggle. We saw Paul Simon coming as a threat, and we saw it as an issue. The idea was to keep South Africa isolated, and you got the feeling that Paul Simon had gone in there on a stealth mission and violated the cultural boycott. We are calling upon all international artists to stay away from our country. What made you to go there? I was invited there. I was invited by black musicians. They felt very strongly that they wanted to get their music out. But I knew that Graceland was going to be a smash and it's going to play to many people who've never heard of South Africa. This is the story of the Oh my God. God. It's Bonnie's father. Hey. <laughs> Graceland set a tone of hope in my life. We have to get back into Graceland and just do it one more time, 25 years later. I'm going to Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee, I'm going to Graceland. That was my first time to hug, especially a white man. When I finished that, I said, I'm in jail now? It was the synthesis of two cultures, and you felt it in the studio, you knew it was happening in the country, and it was just fun. People, despite their color and their creed, where they come from, can work together. That's what Graceland meant to me.